Obama administration reported 22 veteran suicides a day. They were finding bones in the landfill. Were there really that many? No, they were they were ripping off the SGLI. But how many beneficiaries didn't get paid? Then they declared a, a mental health crisis. Typical methodology blames me for noticing after the fact. I've never been a fan of the Centers for Disease Control. And they act like that's just the only possible, how dare he? We already have the FDA and the DEA. What do you bring to the table other than creating a need for your services that overrules Congress? Oh, there's just no way we could possibly get the FDA to hire more doctors. Homeland Security, if, if the FBI absorbed Homeland Security, I don't know who in the world is acting like that's just going to be, there's no way to make that work. Yeah, cancel the riots. Cancel the zombie apocalypse. It's highly irregular to investigate who voted for whatever, why. Perfectly normal to just sell something you can't afford and watch something else explode and have no clue. Just consider the fact that there is absolutely nothing anybody can ever do about me. Was there a plan B? I drafted tax code reforms worth more than your whole goddamn operation. Really, who has a problem with it? Remember, I mean, September 11th, they're like, oh, we're going to have the Department of Homeland Security now. Were you in on it? Like, were you like, oh, yes, we're doing it. Finally, no more forensic investigation. Just take the Army's tanks and send them to war without it. Talking about veteran suicides. Israel gets all the bad stuff, and I'd like to see that change. If they're gonna, ha if they're gonna have to play scapegoat for all the bad stuff, Henry Kissinger, Sigmund Freud, it has to kosher out. There has to be an upshot. All the bullshit we're making those poor civilized people carry around. Whoever controls that region, if there's gonna be peace, it has to be kosher. Why wouldn't we use the existing public resources? Why wouldn't we build on what we already have? Then there's a reason to build something for the future. The FDA was trying to accommodate our lobbies, the people representing the best interests of everybody in this general direction. When the media went corporate, foreign interests gained undue influence. So, I mean, the Homeland Security thing, FEMA? You're telling me that's not a product of the, the gay mafia? Emergency management. Why don't we have more cross-channel incentives, like social, civic preparedness? Our enemies are just consolidating our resources. So who here wouldn't rather it be worth more to us? You have a problem with something the Pentagon was doing or whatever? A whistleblower is protected from within the organization. Freedom of the press, all well and good, but if it's freedom of the free press, all the money spent just for a chance to pinch my testicle going through the Transportation Safety Administration. We can pull the rug out from under the war on terror. That's why I want Florida to build something else, no more medical tyranny. We're going to need a lot of doctors in the future. Why don't we start training them in high school? The technology exists to think along different lines. Harvard needs to imagine a world where Islam is subject to custom. And now it's like, where are the Americans at? Times of wasting. Nine years ago, somebody tried to kill me. A certain subject was brought up that wasn't worth this level of effort since before 9-11. So you'll forgive me if things started to click. But I did that whole cross-country thing, and I get back and they act, well, first off, as soon as I left, they act like I ran away. All hell broke loose. I come back, they act like I never left. Like these people's lives and everything just didn't even matter. I was ready to die the whole time. But I did it anyway. People are trying to get me to play along with some kind of greater... Get real. I don't know you. I don't owe you anything that you couldn't be resolved just by saying it to my face. And they got their story all screwed up. Like I'm supposed to jump on it. Correct them. I, I'm already under the impression that they went and did something stupid. So I remained non-committal. And you know, some of the things that I found out should have been far more advantageous if there was anybody playing for the home team here. Like I know... Langley I'm like nobody has the right to broker this to you I'm sending it to you they say loose lips sink ships 
Okay, so taking our armor and sending us to war without it and declaring 22 suicides a day and finding bones in the landfill, declaring a mental health crisis and acting like I'm not allowed to talk to Washington. Being a fucking retard is a form of insanity too. I've never known anyone, like in my family, I've, I've never heard stories. No one in my family was ever, that I have ever met served in the PTO World War II. So, that's basically, if you're allowing anybody to penalize the Department of State, and they say uh, you can't waterboard, and that, that's so they can just rip us off. So, under the impression that they could silence me before I found out what it was, they took liberties. And why not? This whole thing started with a bad bet. This is where forgiveness comes in. You don't like Christians? Well, it's not kosher. There's going to have to be some forgiveness. What's halal? That's that's the guy's selling child brides to the Saudis. Turns out to be a boy. Got to act like it was the kid's fault. So the Central Intelligence Agency is allowed to waterboard. The Israeli Mossad, the FSB, Russia is a Christian country. The National Defense Authorization Act killed Ambassador Chris Stevens in Benghazi in 2012 because lacking a, a medically ethical stature, certain parties they were uh, trying to trying to teach the Libyans a lesson by raping them, and then they they drone bombed Qaddafi's family while he was stepped out for a minute and we were there we weren't there because they were minting gold we were there because they were minting gold by severe prolonged child abuse that should have been pure gains so just presume if you're an enemy of the central intelligence agency the department of state the department of defense the united states marines the u.s navy or the u.s army we're not going to get along so what's the argument catholics jews Look at it. Central African warlords taking over our health care and social work. Media blaming the Mexicans for stealing our jobs. Pentagram acting all buddy with the Canadians. What's left? The Redcoats really that serious? No. No, the United Nations is using foreign sovereignty to bully our pathetic little democracy. Completely marginalize our economy and then hand it over to the King of England. Act like it was all his fault. Bosnia, Somalia, Dodi Fayed, Jambane Ramsey. I remember everything, Your Majesty. I offer you uh, love, respect, chivalry, and goodwill. Not fealty. That would not be in our mutual best interest. I wrote to 007 the other day. I said someone appeared to have been under the impression we had some arrangement, but that would have been at least eight years ago, so it must not have been your faithful representative. You're forgiven. The United Nations just can't figure out how to make healthcare work without the, the Muslims. And it's like, that's because Islam refuses to trade with anybody but a king because it uses terror and slavery to seize control of the world's most precious resources. And it's the same attitude, supply and demand at the expense of medical ethics that led to the Romanov massacre. What happened to all the tea in China? Tibet, poor little flagging Tibet. So you see, the United Nations are idiots talking about a Brexit and then a BRICS. Somebody thought I was British, an Irish, British, African Muslim warlord sympathizer. How convenient. The thing about Christianity and politics is it was with all these Christian countries, there's no danger of uniting the churches. It's it's one there's there's only one holy apostolic universal Catholic Church, but it, it's this heretical fascist collectivism all this bad publicity so you have your own church whatever that's fine but what good is it doing at the Rhodesians the Nigerians changed their legal age of consent from 11 years old to 18 this year so the Saudis are claiming ownership of our citizens and forcing us to fight about it in Nigerian population credit I took a uh, reasonable suspicion of torture to the, the DEA and that uh, 
that trained steely-eyed killer, silk-tie killer, uh, had a little half-pint deputy looking over his shoulder. They didn't get back to me, so I went straight to corporate. Render unto Caesar. They took a dive. 50,000 cloned accounts. Cost Germany over 100,000 Syrian refugees. The situation with Haiti? Osama bin Laden? Pakistan? This is not inside information. I cannot confirm or deny this. We are not affiliated anyway. Protection fled the country in 2016. Purposes whether or not we're going to prosecute whatever. They made Bill Gates surrender $20 billion to malaria research over a failed pen test. It was announced 24 hours prior just, just to verify that the security algorithm wasn't registering 24 hours. That would have covered Germany's refugees. So we're just not allowed whatever opposition the civilized world thought they had over here being middled. The civilized world is losing an intelligence war against the reason they canceled IQ testing. We are not obligated, pretending they thought it was whatever I wanted, but not to my face. Just like when they rip off Make-A-Wish and rape a six-year-old boy in surgery. I'm like, this could all be put to better use. Rape 84,000 Boy Scouts? Oh, pardon me, your majesty. I didn't realize you were already using it. See what I mean? Supposed to blame London. I guess that's who decides what how to penalize Washington. Oh, he wished he was in the CIA. Owe me uh, 40 years back pay, Langley, and clean up this mess. We will entertain a Nobel Prize, taken under consideration.